Okay, so I want to preface by saying I don't really currently follow wrestling. I mostly jump back in around the bigger premium live events. So SummerSlam, Survivor Series, WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. You know, I love those pay-per-views and it's fun to come back. Now, I went back on this nostalgia trip like three years ago when I randomly signed up for the WWE Network and I rewatched old pay-per-views of the Attitude Era, which is what I watched wrestling at, and I completely missed the Ruthless Aggression Era. And... You know, there's kind of almost a FOMO, well, for sure, of like, oh, I really missed this awesome period in wrestling. But, you know, I had a different focus. I was doing other things. I'm way more into Star Wars, and I was big into that then. I was still buying action figures in high school. Yes, ladies. I'm still buying Star Wars action figures. Yes, ladies. <laughs> Why am I single? No. But yeah. Um, so, having this kind of fear of missing out stuff, didn't realize like how huge John Cena was until I went back and watched some like documentaries on it. And I did wonder, I'm like, would I have been a John Cena fan if I would kept watching wrestling? Because I stopped about 2002. Would I have been on Team Cena or against them? Okay, so the point of this video, though, is for Soraya. Of course, in the WWE universe, she was Paige. So, I missed all this ruthless aggression there, right? And then I rewatched that movie that's about her page uh, called Fighting With My Family. So I became a fan of Soraya without actually watching her wrestle. And it's funny because that's just the power of how much I love wrestling came from just those two years of watching when I was younger. But those memories lasted. And then I do remember hearing about her neck injury like five years ago. Even not knowing who she was, but I knew it because it was the same type of injury that, you know, made Stone Cold had to stop, Edge had to stop. But then, you know, Edge, nine years later, came back. And. Now, in AEW, Soraya has come back. And that journey for her, I feel, is like really inspirational. And then I watched interviews with her and how she overcame this stuff and her addiction and, you know, just what she's gone through. And it's been like a hell of a story. And I finally did go back and watched a match of hers. Um, and again, back to that part of like FOMO, like that fear of missing out, right? It's like, oh, there was definitely a part of me through this was like, man, I missed this out. This would have been so cool to watch at the time, like when this was huge, right? But then... I just kept watching it. I was like, no. You're watching it now. You can enjoy it now. You know? And I did. And it's like this fun time capsule. I'm able to experience this now. And their tagline is so effective. It's so smart. It hits these points. You know, John Cena introduces it. Then, 
now, forever. You know, showing the legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And that's what I'm trying to do in my life more, is enjoy the moment or appreciate the moment. Whenever that time may come, maybe something's happening, you can't appreciate it in the moment, but if you're able to find it later in the day or later in the week where you're like, oh, actually, yes, that was nice. Just trying to appreciate what we have now. So like with Soraya, you know, her career could have ended and she mentions how she's afraid of getting paralyzed, which like, yeah, I think a lot of us can feel with that. Even not being in close to a position where she is. But she's able to come back and, you know, lay new ground and Start a new chapter. It's never too late. And I've seen that throughout my years. It's never too late to start something. Samuel Jackson was 30 when he, or uh, 50 when he started acting, I think. I think he was 50. And Dave Batista was 30 when he started wrestling. I think I'm not the expert, so I could be wrong, but I think it was. I think he was older. But yeah, the point is, you know, trying to appreciate those moments more. And so, yeah, going back and kind of able to live the moments of yesterday now. Yeah, you know, none of my close friends really watched wrestling. So it wasn't necessarily a thing I had in common with my friends, but I think that was maybe also part of why I didn't watch it for too much longer than two years. Although that was also in a transition part where I go from middle school to high school for sure yeah oh here's the pin is that it not even a count <laughs> I also realized I have no idea how long this match is gonna last I could like be cut off in a story but maybe I never even get to one I'm kind of all over the place I feel So wrestling is that kind of fun thing. Like I said, I do come back for the premium live events. I think I should get some credit for not calling them pay-per-views and calling them premium live events. I'm with it. I'm hip. You know. I watch it on Peacock. Streaming services. A pin? No. Becky Lynch says no. Um, and I maybe I could have done more research. But I think it was Sasha Banks that injured Paige and of course you know uh, people can be angry with the people but you know it's a physical sport that stuff happens we don't need to get too deep on it this is just supposed to be fun and entertaining Let me know if you're watching. Who do you want to win right now? Soraya? Sasha Banks? Becky Lynch, who's stunned outside the ring. And Soraya is going crazy on Sasha Banks. She's going for the pin. Will she get it? One. Just a one count. Incredible. These women. Maybe I should just turn this into a commentary video. So I think I've 
kind of ran the legs with, let's appreciate the moment. That's all I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's just enjoy this now. Wow. Okay, so this is a custom character. They have her move. I don't even know what it's called. So, this is really good. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, that was another point. Paige, oh, watch, she's gonna get it now. One, two, no, not even two. Uh, what I did see is like Paige kind of was part of the wave that led to, you know, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch and Alexa Bliss to where the women's wrestling division was taken serious and they can do these awesome matches and they don't have to have that diva flair to it. I don't That was another thing looking back, watching the ruthless aggression and certainly the attitude era. Uh how the women's division evolved and really became something cool and taken serious and mainlined, main evented. A WrestleMania. Oh, what? No. But yeah, that was touching back into that fear of missing out, right? Because it's not necessarily regret in this case, because again, my focus was somewhere else. But to step outside, kind of take those risks, or, you know, however big or small it is, take a chance on something, do something different in the day, maybe if you always walk around the same block, maybe just reverse it, even just as simple as that, or go that extra block when you're doing it, for me, that's, What's helping me is you know, kind of appreciating that time and that clarity. You know, when I walk, I don't have headphones in or anything like that. It's just enjoying the ambience or nature. Yeah. Oh, man. I forgot to mention, this is an extreme rules three-way match. Becky Lynch, she looks in charge, but she's gonna, she's gonna put some more pain to Soraya. She looks like she's talking, what is she doing? Oh my god. Oh, wow. It's so funny. On, like, Facebook, and I think there are YouTubes, WWE blocks headshots, like, they, like, cut to after someone gets hit in the head from older footages. I just think that's funny where it's like, that has to be a legal thing, right? Where, hey, let's not show this. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, she's going for the pin. Becky's not going to let that happen. This is quite the end of the match. The cool thing about this match, this could happen today, even though two-thirds, well, now, yeah, two thirds of the people involved, two out of two, are not in this organization anymore, which is, of course, WWE. I don't have to say that. One, two, three. Soraya. Soraya wins. What a weird, random ramble to just tell you hey, it's okay to enjoy the moment, appreciate what you have. Enjoy what you have, be kind to yourself, and be well to others.